The next group is backcasting Kardashev 1. In 1964, the Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev posited his scales of civilization, scales 1, 2, and 3. Level 1 civilizations um, are those that are able to use all of the energy of their home planet. Level 2, those that use all the energy of their local star. And level 3, those that were capable of using all of the energy of their, of their galaxy. Um, this relatively obscure uh, journal art- article in a relatively obscure journal um, became uh, uh, famous and influential um, in ways that were un- both unlikely and, and amazing as a way in which at that particular moment, kind of in, you know, five years before, um, five years before the moon landing, um, but also similar years after, after Sputnik, that the exploration and, and incipient conceptualization of Earth as planet uh, was demanding, or at least suggesting, a reconsideration of what constitutes and what a, a civilization and whether or not we have even actually achieved a civilization, we, in, 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 any, in any connotation you like, have achieved a civilization. Carl Sagan famously uh, uh, came to the conclusion that, we are, that by the early 19, uh, 1973 that we had achieved something like a 0.8 level scale of Kardashev and, and, and since been revised down. Uh, and in that sense, uh, a conclusion that we have not yet achieved really a, a, a full scale uh, of civilization in this regard, but also opening again opening up the question of what it would be, what kind of civilization um, is appropriate to uh, the, this the 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 emergent universality of planetary planetary co occupation. So. This group has taken the the uh, the, uh, the the provocation to think about that the question of the composability of a civilization um, through the rubric of Kardashev scale to think about what would what how we might get from 2020 to a Kardashev one civilization. Um, the conclusions are not that we should. Um, the conclusions are not necessarily that we will, um, but the conclusions that we might and perhaps we should. One of the uh, qualifications of the research is that it may not even be up to us, um, as, you, as you'll see, that the dynamic and sort of self-amplifying cycles of, of energy, and indeed Kardashev uh, uses energy as, a, as the key metric for understanding what the scope of civilization may have, um, may have a kind of self-perpetuating process that, it, it, that is beyond us, and that we are misrecognizing exactly how much agency the Homo sapiens uh, and our own psychological acquisitiveness has um, as the pilot of this process. This is resonant, I think, a bit with um, Joseph Tainter's sort of uh, uh, energy complexity spiral. That is, the more a- more that energy becomes available, the greater degree of social complexity. Um, comes along with it, which then in turn makes more and more energy available until we reach points of collapse, which for Tainter, of course, means simplification. In the meantime, um, what a Kardashev scale civilization might mean. Um, would a K1 civilization, keep, that is one capable of releasing, capable of releasing all of the energy of any terrestrial atom on command, including those that make up living organisms, constitute a uh, unthinkable, beyond Lovecraftian horror. Perhaps, um, but even if it were unthinkable uh, to us, we who scavenge fossil fuels uh, and set them on fire to power pictures on screens, does not mean that it is necessarily really unthinkable or horrific in any ultimate sense. Um, I should also say that uh, we had, in terms of the relationship with this project to our, our program more generally, is that we, uh, when we launched the program last year, seems quite some time ago, but when we launched the program in Moscow, um, the public event, our, we had invited Kardashev um, to join us for this event as a kind of guest of honor. And he uh, unfortunately passed away a couple of weeks before the event uh, took place. But uh, his work uh, and kind of the, 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 the implications of, of, of questioning uh, 
what a civilization is and whether a civilization is even um, is is in a sense even the the purpose of all of this um, remains remains with us uh, and remains uh, behind a lot of the questions that we are asking. Um, what you'll see uh, is not a direct path, uh, but multiple possible future Earths, um, ones that in various degrees center the planetarity of the Earth within a question uh, within this question, and in other ways decenter the Earth from this question. Um, in, in doing so, uh, would present certain Copernican traumas that would come with uh, locating the Earth within these processes that exceed our uh, deliberation, uh, and in other ways introducing other Copernican traumas in the sense in which it would um, locate our uh, uh, locate those circumstances um, in ways in which uh, we might observe ourselves um, as part of as part of processes uh, in which uh, our reflection. Uh, is simply not allowed, simply not possible. So with that, uh, I introduce uh, Backcasting Carnership 1. Hello, everyone. My name is Evgenia Birchul. I'm an architect based in Kyiv. Hi, I'm Yanni Zygerman. I'm a public policy specialist based in Brazil and Europe. Hello, I'm Yulia Bispimenova. I'm a service designer, currently based in Moscow, Zelenograd. Hi, my name is Stuart Turner. I'm a music producer and lawyer from Scotland. Um, thanks for being with us. Our project's called Backcasting Kardashev 1. It's about a scale invented in the 60s to classify extraterrestrial civilizations, which actually reveals the necessity of rethinking energy and planetarity here on Earth. 